In this chapter, we are going to discuss about subscriber, what is list and what is groups. Now, subscriber is someone, a person who has opted to receive communication from your organization. You must have a valid email address for each subscriber to whom you send emails. You can also track additional information about subscriber using the profile and preference attribute. You can use a subscriber key to identify your subscriber. Now to show you in action, I'm now going to jump into the marketing cloud. Now I'm in marketing cloud. Now, if I talk about all subscribers, all subscriber is a global list which, cons which consists of everyone who has opted to be subscribed for the emails. Over here, if I want to import a subscriber, I can just hit import, say next. I'll give an I agree for the default opt-in for all the subscriber that I'm going to import. And I can import it via a CSV file saved on my machine or via an FTP. It could be CSV, tab delimited or other delimited. I can specify the options whether all the subscriber need to be added or it needs to be only added to not update or update them. So this would be a way where I can import a subscriber list using a wizard. Now in case I just want to create a particular subscriber, I'll specify a subscriber key. This is a unique key. I'll specify an email ID. I'll specify a name. And I'll say next. And then I can specify this particular subscriber, which I'm adding just now, has to be added to which all lists. I'll say finish. say finish now so far what we have done we have seen how to add a subscriber either by using import wizard where I can add a list of subscriber or I can also individually create a subscriber in marketing cloud now let's talk about lists lists are filtered view of my all subscriber list for example if I want to create a new list and I call it as November promo list. I can associate it with a campaign. I can specify an external key so that an external system can identify a unique key. Say next. Over here, I can specify a welcome email if I want to send it to all the subscriber who would be added to this particular list. I can specify a particular letter over here and everyone in that particular list would get a welcome email. This is all about the list. The next one is groups. Groups is a filtered way of creating a list. For example, I can filter a group by by profile attribute by preference attribute and others suppose say okay i have a list over here say okay and then i can filter based on various measures i can find out number of people who have not clicked email in last 30 days then i'll get a filtered value and based on this particular group I can then send them an email so just to reiterate so far we have understood subscriber is someone who has opted to receive an email and also has a valid email ID we can create a list group is a filtered view of that list we can import one single subscriber or we can import a list of subscriber and if needed we can go back to subscriber and 
a subscriber needs to be deleted we can just select it and we can delete a subscriber if I click on any one of these subscriber records I'll see more information about these for example I can look at Haley is part of which all list she is part of monthly newsletter list whether she is part of any group or not and history about Haley whether any email has been sent to her in past 90 days or not and what activity she has performed on that particular email this concludes the chapter where we learnt about subscriber